Welcome to Forum 360. I'm Ardeth Keck, your host today, and I, we're going to talk about the Portage Lakes. Imagine yourself cruising along in a pontoon boat on the Portage Lakes. It's a beautiful day, and it's just you and your friends and out on the lakes having a party. What a lovely scene. Today we talk with Judy Narducci, uh, who is a retired nurse who specialized in ger geriatrics and is one of six sisters. Wow. Judy has created a business we'd all dream about, Portage Lakes Cruises. One of her boat captains is Lori Sasson, who is a retired school bus driver. She must have a lot of patience <laughs> and an avid boater. If you are inspired by our conversation today, you can find the information online at portagelakescruises.com. Let's go for a boat ride. <laughs> Judy, what inspired you to create this business? Well, my love of the boat, of course. I said to my mother once, what if, whatever I do after I retire had better have something to do with this boat because it's all I want to do. And she said, well, maybe people would like to come out on your boat. And it really just got me thinking. And she was right. People really do enjoy coming out on the boat. When did you create this business? I'm starting my fifth season this year. So wow. 2013 was my first season. And um, it's, it's been growing each year. As, uh, that was my next question. <laughs> How's business? Oh, it's good. It's it has me a little nervous with how good it is. I've been getting calls since January with as nice as the weather it has been. So They think you're going to go out yes, in they, January? Yes, they did kind of wonder, if, uh, do you have them in the water? But we actually started officially today. Our okay. season started. It is raining today. But it's, uh, it, it starts from May and goes through the end of September. And it has grown incrementally every year with adding new boats. And this year we're up to four boats with four female captains and... Uh, service crew and that sort of thing. So it's really, it's, it's, it's a great. lot to do. <laughs> uh -huh. And Laurie, you're one of the captains. Uh, how long have you been with Portage Lakes Cruises? This will be my third year mm -hmm. uh, of doing some cruises with Judy. Mm -hmm. And we met kind of on a whim when my husband and I moved up to Portage Lakes. And I was told that the Portage Lakes Historical Society was going to be having an open house at the Akron Rotary Camp. And my son said, you know, this would be a great way to see some of the old pictures and stuff of the Portage Lakes. And uh, he was actually going to be using some of those prints for their wedding. And while I was there, I was introduced to Judy and the two of us we just, just hit it off. We did. We just gelled. And it was, you know, an easy decision when she said, would you be interested? And I'm like, absolutely. So you're an avid boater. How long have you been boating? I've been boating probably since I was 18, so just a few years ago, <laughs> <laughs> for a right. long time. I okay. actually have a sign hanging at my home. We do live in the lakes, and I have a, a sign hanging there that says, I wasn't born in the lakes, but I got there as soon as I could. <laughs> That's a good one. Very cute. Um, for those who may not know, we better talk about where Portage Lakes is. All right. Well, it's south of Akron. Um, Let's see, they actually call it New Franklin, but it's, it's still considered Akron. Uh, north, covers, of, north of Canton. Right, yeah, and between Akron and Canton covers two different school districts. True. Are encompassed within the seven lakes that, mm -hmm. Coventry schools that and connect to make Portage Lakes. Right. Okay, and so in order to get there from Akron, it's just a little drive. It is. It's, uh, I've had people come from way past Cleveland and way past Canton, and they all say it's an easy drive. It's, it's not hard to get to. And it's very pretty. Yes. Uh, does your website have a map on it? It does. And it's a chain of seven lakes, so it's really easy to find on any map. You'll see... Uh, it's a lot of water. Yeah, a lot there of water. There is a lot of water. <laughs> Okay. Do you have a map on board for cruisers to know where they're going? I do. And that's helpful because each of the uh, lakes is different. There, there are several that are made by glacier. They're called kettle lakes. And then you go into some man-made lakes. You'd never know the difference. They all look exactly the same as the natural lakes. And on each lake, there is uh, something to stop and do, restaurants and bars and places like that, that people may want to know how do we, how long it is until we get to this place. And 
they're actually built into the table on one boat is mm -hmm. a nice map of the lakes. Ah, and okay. there's two of the lakes that are specifically for swimming. Right. And, you know, so those during the summer are very populated areas, so we take our cruises out around the perimeter of it so that they can see what kind of activities go on there on a mm -hmm. daily basis. Well, that is that is another question. Um, is there fishing on the lakes? There is, and we actually have a fisherman who's willing to come aboard this year if we have a family who would like to fish, where the uh, maybe the mom and kids want to sit here and eat and play while the dad and one of the boys wants to fish. This man will help find them their places and show them what to do. So that's Does he fun. provide the equipment? He provides the equipment, the licensure. We, we recommend the one-day licensure for them before they come aboard. But that's, Which they that's can new easily get year. at one of the yeah. local establishments. Yeah. Ah, it's uh, not they a can stop and get it on, ahead. Yeah, right. no, they yeah. can stop and get it on their way in for yeah. the cruise. They oh. do bass fishing. Actually, it's become quite a destination for bass fishermen. They, do, they had a tournament yesterday. They have fishing yeah. tournaments a lot. Yes. When I went online to prepare for the show, I saw something about the, the tournament, and the fish were huge. Yes, mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. And they've got huge crappie. This year I heard of somebody already caught a 15-inch crappie right in the, in the bay where I got. Are the fish, is the water pure enough that it the is. fish are good to eat? It is. I looked it up before I started the business, and I was starting to eat fish out of the lake myself. So, the yes, EPA and it's delicious. is always it's there high rated. doing testing yes. and, and mm -hmm. printing out reports. So we, uh, we always get a good rating yeah. on, hmm. on all of the testing that they do. Very good. Very good. Um, you said there were seven lakes, Correct. I believe. Correct. And can you get to all of them by boat? Those are the ones that we actually see on the cruise. And then there are others that we cannot get to that you'll see as you drive around the area. But yes, the ones that we traverse, there are seven that you'll see. And you said they were not all man-made. Correct. How but many are natural? The three that we, where we leave from Rex Lake and come into Turkey Foot Lake, those are both um, natural lakes, also mud lake. And then we leave there and go in a channel to two different reservoirs that are uh, man-made. And from there, there are two smaller areas that are considered different lakes there. And what, do the reservoirs provide water? Is that why they were made? Actually, it was more for traversing between, to get from one place to another, to give them passage. Uh -huh. or, or portage. That's I, right. I, we did That's learn. Right. Portage. We did, yeah, we did learn Indians a few did. new uh, vocabulary <laughs> words as we were doing some of our history uh, presentations so that we right. were making sure that we were giving the right information. And if you actually travel along Manchester Road that bleeds into is it Main Street? Long There's, Lake and, yes. There are statues and arrowheads right. along where the Indians portaged in between one area to the other. And you'll see on Manchester Road, there's a statue of an Indian mm -hmm. that has his canoe on his back. And he is portaging from what would have been Long Lake up into the Akron area to get to the canals. Yes, right. Uh -huh. And so that's where part of the words portage lakes came from is and clear I, back in to when the Indians. Our captains do a nice job too of narrating if you want it on your cruise. Some people have already been on the lakes and they, don't, they, they just want to visit with their friends so they're just available to answer questions but other than that they can give a little history of the lakes, some of the current events that are happening, mm -hmm. some property values, point out some of the nicer uh, landscaped lawns and that sort of thing. You're on TV and radio right now, oh. but you've been on TV before. Well, tell me about once. it. <laughs> uh, Neil Zerker came out. I was the proud host of having <laughs> him on my boat. It was just such a treat for me. I watched him since I was a little girl. And he uh, came out a couple years ago and did a nice cruise on the boat. And of course, at the end, he went to Pab's Custard Stand. He's always about the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> our yes, little local place. Yes, he mentioned the Pab's yes. Creamery. So that was a, a real treat. Okay. And um, that was how long ago? Two years. Two years yes. ago? Because he's not doing it anymore. That's right. right. And it's brought people from everywhere. Those one tank trips, people really depend on that. I think, you know, they want a, a nice little mini vacation. They can just drive up from wherever and it's a nice, easy drive. And you can see his car on the film. Yes. It's on your website. It is, right. So you, you can look at it Correct. if you are Thank interested. You. 
Um, you mentioned the channels to get from one lake to another. Right. Are those <clears throat> channels created just to get from one lake to the, another? Yes, they are, and they've been bolstered throughout the years. They've been uh, one is just a, a like looks like a little natural canal, but another one is an iron channel that they've made the sides iron so that they are. I mean, they're, they're never going to nothing will ever happen to those. They're never going to fall apart. Um, it's a little challenging. You have two boats going different directions in that channel. And it's very narrow. It is. It's, and it's, it does actually have experience. a gate yes. that if there were a situation to where they needed to do more water control than what the dams provide, there is a gate that actually will swing across and block off east from west. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be, if that happened, that would be very challenging for the, the Lakers because that is a busy thoroughfare. Right. Mm -hmm. And we did have a situation, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, uh, right before the 4th of July weekend was to start, a tree fell right. into the Iron Channel. Ah. And it was on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> and, and so, you know, don't bring your boats down because there's nowhere really, once you're in there, you can't turn around. Right. You have to go right. whichever direction you were heading. Oh, so you don't want to start it. Right. You don't want to start out. because then that means you have to back your pontoon right. boat or your or your motor boat or your right. kayak or whatever it is that you're traveling in for the day back out of the Iron Channel. Mm. But um, by the time my husband and I had gotten through with our boat, uh, that tree was pulled out yes. and cut into logs and the 4th of July was on. Right. Well, we're a small community, yeah. so we are able to Facebook and, and tell each other things like that. That is a very, very unique helpful. thing. As Judy and I were, you know, coming down here, we were talking about different things we wanted to point it on. And that was something to me that is so amazingly, almost undescribable, is how close-knit the Portage Lakes family is, is right. there are hundreds of houses on the lakes, but if something happens or someone needs something, they support each there's other. little mini groups on Facebook, and as soon as that need is mentioned, it's support, it, it's district-wide, you know, mm -hmm. that, that support each other, and what do you need, how can we help, where mm -hmm. do you need the donation brought to, and, you know, that particular situation where the tree fell, I mean, it was on Facebook and people True. were like, I'm so glad you did that. I was just heading over to my son's right. house or my, well, you know, my friend's house. And <clears throat> everybody just takes care of everybody. And That's it's such a We're good, good at feeling. fundraising, too. That, uh, that polar jump that they do in the middle of the winter raised over $100,000 for the Canton Food Bank one yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Canton so Food really Bank. Do a lot it was of amazing. Let's stuff. talk about that in a minute. But okay. I want to uh, tell our audience that we're talking about Portage Lakes and Portage Lakes Cruises with Judy Narduzzi and Laurie Sasson. And they are both um, boaters and they're both uh, uh, drivers of the boat, mm -hmm. captains of Correct. the boat, mm -hmm. however you say it. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun. Very. Portage Lakes is how many acres? It's nearly 500 acres all the way around. It really surprises people, even those who live there, when they come out and see how much area there is and just beautiful landscaped houses. And it's quite a sight. Are there special houses? Are there big houses oh. or little houses? Yes, there are. <laughs> and you get to see inside of them, some of them, every year that uh, Akron Symphony Orchestra's fundraiser is a tour of homes on Portage Lakes. It's right in the middle of July. And the boat owners, 70 of them last year, I think it was, donate the use of their boats and they drive them and have a first mate and you get a box lunch and see inside five of the different homes that the homeowners have graciously donated the space so that you could come and see their houses. And the money goes to the Akron Symphony Akron Orchestra. Symphony. And this they've done it for almost 20 years now. So you've seen inside quite a few of the houses that are there and some of them a second time. But, but what's unique with what you asked is Portage Lakes back in the day started as just weekend cabins. That's right. So every once in a while you will still see just a small, tiny little one cottage. room. There's one yeah. on Rex Lake, in fact, it's just a, a one room cottage. Cottage mm -hmm. that the you know families would come out to for the weekend, right. ride their boat, have a picnic, enjoy the water and go swimming. And then they went back to their, you know, everyday lives during the week. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of that has changed because you don't see too many of those cabins anymore. Yes, and those cabins have grown <laughs> into very large homes. But one of the 
uh, building regulations is if you do build on what used to be a cabin, you have to leave at least one remaining wall of that cabin ah, in your structure. Now, whether, I mean, you'll see some houses out there that are incredibly oh, yes. large and you're going, is that wall still in there? Or did it kind of get chewed up, spit out through one of the matter. windows during <laughs> once construction? It, once it's constructed, it doesn't matter, right. but it allows them to use the same zoning so they can keep the house where right. it is. Yeah, because you'd right. never know if that wall No, you still wouldn't know if there. that wall's still standing in there, but right. uh, it is beautiful to see a lot of new houses being built and in some of the neighborhoods you know, that was always, it's been in the family for so many years and then it just, you know, the family doesn't want to keep it anymore, but then you'll get some some new families and some young blood coming mm -hmm. in there that, you know, now there's new groups of children that are growing up True. in the areas and stuff. And it's just a heart heartwarming feeling to know that generations to come are still going to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the polar bear plunge. Tell me what it is. Well, uh, a group of people, I, I don't even know how many years say, I've been doing I've actually been on now. the committee for the last three years now. My, my husband and I helped. Do you do uh, it? I do not do it. <laughs> I don't um, even go watch. My, my, <laughs> my son keeps trying to guilt me into it, but I'm just like, you know, that it's not on my bucket list. And I, I'm on blood thinners so that when it's cold, I'm cold anyways. And I'm yeah. going, I would be more than happy to do anything else that needs yeah, to I'll be done. I'll make the cocoa. Yes. Well, and that's what I do is, is mm -hmm. you know, my, I, I help with the committee that, that does the funding. Yes. It's held in January? It is, is usually, um, no, it's in February. I, don't I want to say I don't, it's like the third weekend in February. But it's winter. Anyway. <laughs> it, is. it is cold. They have to, um, have to actually break the ice. Yeah, we've been blessed with some years. The ice, you know, the water hasn't frozen over. Like this year. This first. year was <laughs> ideal. If you wanted to go, this was the year to do it. Mm -hmm. um, they jumped over, I believe they had 600 jumpers this year. And, it, and they run an through 600 jumpers in just a matter of a few hours. And do you pay to jump? Yes. You do pay to jump. You the collect. minimum, the minimum um, donation is $25. But then we have companies that will do challenges mm -hmm. to raise more money. Right. And you can get to a level of a VIP jumper, which means you're one of the first ones to jump in. Um, as soon as you get out, there's a VIP tent that you go in and you get a massage and oh. you get heated <laughs> <we'll> towels <laughs> and I, you know, so there's, there's, that almost makes it worth it. Yes, there's Not incentives quite. to get you to be a VIP jumper, but it always mm -hmm. goes for uh, a good cause. We've gone from the Ronald McDonald house to the Akron Canton food bank to any of the local charities that are raising money, Camp Wainoa and the yes. Rotary Camp. And it's really become It started a, out with a, a, a event. couple neighbors that decided to do it just for the fun of it to those, those original uh, participants are now the head of the polar, polar bear jump. And, and then there's fireworks yes, on the 4th of July. The 4th of July. I hear from many people that the fireworks are spectacular. They are, and they're simulcast with music on the local ra or nearby radio stations so that it's really an event. You're out there, the lakes are just covered with boats, and everybody's <laughs> just waiting in anticipation of the fireworks. We ha actually have the largest community-funded fireworks display in northern Ohio. And it is a half an hour long. It's spectacular. Some of the most beautiful fireworks Shot off over the water, seen. so you see the reflection on the water as well as in the, in the sky. And now, are they able to rent your boats? Uh, they the are. In fact, July? last year was the first time that we put all, all of our boats together, lashed them together, put the, re, uh, the refreshments out in the middle, and let everybody just kind of walk around. That's how locals do their partying anyway. She does a brunch on Sundays. It's lovely. <laughs> we do Sunday so, fun days. You know, so yeah. we, uh, we put them together, and we get, that, get out a little bit early so that everybody gets a chance to get situated. We get our anchors down, and then we're there. As soon as we're done, we come back in, and we have... Uh, a campfire afterwards so that they don't have to buck the crowds getting yeah. out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not a place that you can leave quickly That's as soon right. as the fireworks so are yeah. done. Kind of you, fun. you just, if there's something additional that you can do to wait out the traffic, it's right. a good idea. Yeah, because there are really not too many roads That's that true. enter the Portage Lakes area. It's challenging, so. but they've really gotten better at it over the years so that they've got our traffic flow down, mm -hmm. but the, the campfire is still kind of fun. <laughs> oh yeah, always. <laughs> Let's talk about weather. It's not always beautiful in northeastern it's Ohio. True. <laughs> it's not. So suppose I make a reservation two months ahead, it happens. and I have no idea 
weather, what the weather is going to be. Tell me about it. We keep a really close watch on the weather, but we do it by listening to the weather reports, but also by going outside and saying what is it, what's happening, what's been happening, so we keep a watch on it. When we see that there is weather, we tell everyone, if you can be the least bit flexible so that we can call and say, can you come an hour earlier or can, you know, even in some cases, maybe change the date to the next, their rain date or whatever. We really rarely have had to simply cancel only because they've been from out of town and they couldn't rearrange. But most people understand weather in Ohio and they are willing to move it just a little bit. Then also we have, we have half the boats are covered anyway, but we also have umbrellas and uh, Sherpa light blankets if you need them. But everybody seems happier to be on the water than back in their office, if that were the choice, you know. So it seems like everybody's kind and of used to it. And if it is to rain? I seem to be the captain. Yes, it's true. It, it's it, true. It, it's kind of a running joke between the group of us that works together yes. is if there is a chance of yes. rain, you know, and the people decide, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and risk it. If it rains, right. then we'll just work through we, it. We got and a little bit of rain on us on Friday, and, and somebody said, well, this should be Lori's cruise. Because yeah. <laughs> it inevitably that, rains yes. when I'm the one that starts out. Just, well, I don't want you. The people uh, don't mind. Yeah, but you know what? We have fun. The people we, don't we mind. Have fun. It's fun because they, they seem to think, well, you're on a boat. You kind of expect to get right. wet. But once in a while, you'll get the group that you think they'd never gotten wet in their lives, but... No, they really don't seem to mind it. But if it were to be severe storms, oh, no. I mean, we would, we we come would in renegotiate in before Definitely. they even took them out and, and actually right. find them a rain date. Absolutely. Would I be able to cancel if I've made yes. a reservation yes. and I something happens and I can't? Yes, if it's canceled for weather, you certainly get your refund. If it's canceled within an hour of the cruise, you may have to you know, um, leave some of your money behind. But there like 72 <laughs> hours or yes, something? Yes, there is. And you'll see it on the website. It gives you full information about what you need to okay. do in that event. And how many people can your boats accommodate? This year we have, my smallest boat carries comfortably nine people. And we said this earlier that the rating on the boat may be up to 15 people, but we want you all to be comfortable in your seats. So we have one that carries up to nine, one that carries up to 12, and two that carry up to 14. And this year we also have the opportunity to drive the Portage Princess, which is a very large boat that runs on the Portage Lakes that we can put up to 40 people on board together. And it has windows in case, in case of inclement weather. So that's going to be fun too. And I okay. kind of the yes, it is. It's <laughs> always around. Hopefully, out more this year. Yes. Okay. Well, we're we're nearing the end of our show, but I need to know about food. Oh yes. And drinks. <laughs> well, you can, can always you bring stop. your alcohol you, on board. No, you cannot bring alcohol. It's the only stipulation. It's it's all state park land where there is water, so it, that's just a state law. However, we right. do have seven bars. Yes. On. The lakes. You can get your drink on at any one of them. And right. If and you, you can sit on your boat right. docked at the bar and have your beverage, but you can't you can't leave then and have your drink right. with you. You uh -huh. have to finish it before you leave. But do you provide food? We do, and you can also bring your own food. You can stop and eat if you want. It takes so much time out of your cruise, though, that we provide a, a nice box lunch for a very low fee, $7 per person, for a lovely croissant sandwich and chips and fruit and dessert. Or, uh, as I said, you can, you can bring your own picnic if you like. We always provide ice water and chips on every cruise. That's complimentary. But you can add to it any way you want other than alcohol. And you have some dinner cruises. Yes, we do a nice steak dinner for two, four, or six. And, uh, or you can do chicken or whatever. It's on the website. But this year we have the addition of live music if you're interested. A nice acoustic guitarist will be strumming if you want him. Or we can plug in or on our Bluetooth speaker put your own playlist. Our anniversary parties like that and I, I actually build a playlist of just their music from when they got married. Okay. That's very popular. Doesn't that sound like a great way <laughs> to spend a few hours on a nice Thank day you. or not, maybe even not a nice day? <laughs> um, Portage Lakes Cruises. Uh, go to portagelakescruises.com to explore a little bit more. And I thank you, Judy, and thank you, Lori, thank you. Um, for visiting with us today on uh, Forum 360, a global outlook with a local view. Thank you, our audience. From Ardith Keck, your host. Forum 360 is brought to you with support from Electric Impulse Communications, Kim and Harvey Nelson, Rubber City Radio Group, Acronist.com, Hudson Cable, 
Medical Mutual of Ohio, Form 360 supporters, and the Shaw Jewish Community Center of Akron.